When you first open the MPLAB X IDE, you are presented with the start page. On the start page, we have a wealth of information to get you going. There's a quick start. There's an area where it describes the differences between MPLAB 8 and MPLAB X for using the USB drivers. You have an area where you can open some sample projects, create a new project, and import your MPLAB 8 legacy projects. There's some uh, minute videos that we will open, and you can see tutorials on creating a new project. You then have other tabs that you can navigate to, which gives you quick links to third-party tools, how to uh, add more menu functionality as we minimize some of the uh, full menus when we distribute, recent news projects, and a What's New tab that has uh, four RSS fees that gives you information on different data that's available. Currently, I have three open projects that you can see. If you look at the properties on these projects, you can see on the Embedded tab, something new in MPLAB X is we have the ability to select multiple tools. So on this uh, installation, you can see I have a Picket 3 by the serial number under the Picket 3, and I have two Realizers by the serial numbers under the Realize. You need to select the tool that you wish to use with the project that you uh, have at the time. You can then select your compiler as well. Mm. The other feature we have is on um, the editor, you have a navigation pane on the left where you can search for functions. And then within the editor, if you right click, you can show a core graph. And this is a static core graph of everything main will call, looking at the uh, main function and what's called from the main. You can double click on the arrow and it'll take you directly to the source code where the function is called. Or you can double click on the box and it'll take you to the definition in the code. Another nice feature is the history. Under MPLAB X, you have some local history. If you right click on the tab of the file, and then show local history. It'll bring up a dialog where it'll display every time you modify the file. And you can select through each date and see what was modified. And you can either remove it or you can copy the whole file from the old one to the new one. The one nice thing about MPLAB X and the editor is it has a full pre-parser, which means that you can do code completion and hints as you type. It fills in the drop down and if I just look for the same thing I can then enter it directly from the, uh, the fill-ins. If you uh, have errors you will get a red mark showing that there's an error on the line. It'll give you hints. And then you can go and fix that as you're typing through.